Everything's ready. All right. The grandmother didn't want to go to Florida. She wanted to visit some of her connections in East Tennessee, and she was seizing at every chance to change Bailey's mind. What? You're the misfits escape from jail in Florida. I wouldn't take your child there if I were you. What about Tennessee? It's a lot nicer there. Oh no, we're going to Florida. I don't care about the misfit. Florida's much nicer than Healy, Tennessee. The next morning, the grandmother was the first one in the car, ready to go. She was hiding a basket with Pity Singh the cat in it. She said she thought it was going to be a good day for driving, neither too hot nor too cold, and she cautioned Bailey that the speed limit was 55 miles an hour and that the patrolmen hid themselves behind billboards and small clumps of trees and sped out after you before you had a chance to slow down. The old plantation I visited when I was young is around this area. There is a secret panel in the house with all the family silver hidden in it. We should go see it. We just passed it back a mile back. Yeah, Bailey, let's go. It seems like a good idea. I don't know. Maybe we can stop on the way back through. We don't have much time right now. Come on, we're taking a different way. On the way home, it'll be completely out of our way. Yeah, come on, Bailey. It won't take long. It's a beautiful house. Oh, all right. But we're not going to stay long. Does anyone even live there? No, the family moved down a long time ago. I cannot believe that we have wrecked. The horrible thought she had before the accident was that the house she had remembered so vividly was not in Georgia, but in Tennessee. I can't believe it. Why would you use his name? Now we are in trouble. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Do you know what this means? You wouldn't shoot an old lady, would you? Listen, sir, we're in a predicament. Do you think you could help us out here? Yeah, I'll come take a look. Okay, I see the problem. It's going to take about 30 minutes to fix. So I need to go with them. They went off toward the woods, and just as they reached the dark edge, Bailey turned, and supporting himself against a gray naked pine trunk, he shouted, I'll be back in a minute, Mama. Wait on me. Take us back. Take us back. Take us back. There may be one in the trunk. You're good people. Finest in the world. I've never been a bad man. You ever pray? I've never prayed because I've never needed to. Jesus, Jesus, help me! Yeah, she's throwing everything off balance. Listen, lady. Well, you're one of my own children, one of my babies. She would have been a good woman, the misfit said, if it had been somebody over there to shoot her every minute of her life. I'm getting out of here. I cannot believe that we have read. I cannot believe that we have read. I cannot believe what these... Thank <laughs> you.